So, uh, we're talking about the monarchy, right? Extra 50 million quid. The monarchy brings in about two billion pounds to us. And that goes direct to the treasury. The monarchy costs us 167 million. And now they're talking about adding to it. Take the personalities out of it, right? Although Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, you just could not fault that lady. She was 100% beyond reproach. And every day loved her, regardless of race, creed, religion, background, football team. They all loved the Queen. They all loved Lizzie, as they call her. Now, uh, or Lilibet. Now, um, these are the figures. So the monarchy are well in credit with the people. Now, you've got to decide how are we going to have our arrangement? Do we want Parliament, i.e. Rishi Sunak, to run all of Britain and the Commonwealth? Do we want that? Boris Johnson running Britain and the Commonwealth. Liz Truss running Britain and the Commonwealth. Or do we want these people, or with others, Theresa May, David Cameron, the list goes on. But do we want them running everything, Britain and the Commonwealth? All right. There was it 50, 50 odd, 50 odd countries, 53 countries in the Commonwealth. Anyway, do we want the Prime Minister of the UK running the lot, a political figure with an agenda? All right. Or do we want an apolitical person as curator and custodian of the crown, our symbol of authority? Because every right-thinking country in the world would love to have a monarchy. But they can't see how to go about it. Yeah? Ireland would love a monarchy. Arthur Griffith that started Sinn Féin would have loved a monarchy. He wasn't terribly keen on the Hanoverian succession. But now we have King Charles who has Stuart bloodlines, if you're fussy about that. And we elected our monarch uh, in Scotland in 1320, right? So £50 million. Remember, we frittered £250 billion on Brexit. Remember, the pandemic was £150 billion. Pounds with a hundred billion going to one company, Big Pharma. All right? So 50 million pounds to maintain the most fabulous setup, the envy of the world. Not too bad, I think. So it was a packet of crisps. That's what the monarchy costs you, a giant bag of snackettes.